Hi, beautiful people. So today I am going to share with you a couple of thoughts on how to stay motivated in fitness. Um, you found a trainer. You found a support group. You're you you can put yourself in in the point of view, and and, and you like the idea of of using foot fitness for your self-improvement, um, using fitness to, to make a change in your life, a change for the better. I, um, as a personal trainer, am so motivated to help people uh, with that goal, that goal in mind. Um, but as a trainer, I, I recognize that sometimes I can't partner with everyone. Um, so typically, when you're looking for a trainer or a group fitness class to plug into so you can achieve those goals, those goals I've talked about in, in yesterday's video, um, competition versus celebrating life, make sure you go ahead and, and use that as a motivational video for yourself. But um, I sit down. And, and I offer a free consult face-to-face -face with any potential client who wants to do personal training with me. And that's typically what, what most personal trainers do. Um, it, it's a screening process for both the trainer as well as the potential client. Um, you know, it, it's a partnership and, and the client is paying for a service the, um, the trainer absolutely wants to make sure that uh, their business doesn't suffer because they can't meet the goals of the client. So they need to make sure that, that, that they're in agreement of ex exactly what those goals are and how to achieve them. So the client should be asking um, the group fitness instructor should be asking the personal trainer um, that they're researching, hey, you know, do you share my same vision and my same goals? And um, they should also be asking, you know, if you do share those goals, um, what are the fruits? What, what kind of results are you bearing? Um, do you have proof that you can actually achieve these goals or are you just totally bullshitting me? Because I'm going to tell you right now, dear lovely beautiful people, there's a lot of bullshitters out there and um, that's probably something that um, a lot of personal trainers fixate on and um, I'm not one of them. I, I have to say I, I laugh. I, I honestly, and I know it's, it's not a form of bullying, I just, I, um, I'm amused at the immaturity of some adult trainers and um, fitness enthusiasts who, who are mentoring others with their mentality that um, they can get away with, <laughs> with having a cult following and, and they have no credentials. Um, they just they just pretty much belittle and bully others. Oh, I was a top athlete. I was an Olympic athlete. I won a gold medal in track and field. Or, um, you know, I was a top martial artist. I kicked everyone's asses. And uh, you need to listen to me because I'm an expert. Well, um, that that is not that is not cool. <laughs> that is that's uh, maniacal behavior. That's bullying. That's intimidating. Um, so don't be afraid if you're if you're seeking a personal trainer or a group fitness instructor don't be afraid to ask them hey you know could you share with me your experience your continuing education your um, references and referrals and um, you know your certifications and and if you find that trainer or that instructor um, always makes an excuse to not share their experience, their references, their certifications. Um, they don't share the fact that they're continuing in their education or at what point in their life they are um, 
health wise when it comes to um, being able to provide the service for you you know they're, they're in other words they're not they're not resting on their laurel they actually are actively participating with the community and their clients and, and they're providing the same results today as they did yesterday um, that you really you really need to ask credentials um, especially run away from anyone or any um, activity center <laughs> class trainer who who blows their credentials out of proportion um, it's all right if they're saying hey I'm in school it's perfectly fine if they say my goal is to achieve this next level in my education but it's not okay when you know they're stagnant in their continuing education it's not okay when that trainer or that instructor um, brags about what they've learned and they don't share what they've learned <laughs> um, so just really run away from that that's that's what I call a cult leader um, uh, so um, the third aspect of, of helping you to stay motivated in your fitness goals is um, again you, you found a place you know a team a mentor a trainer who, who shares that same vision you're ready to hop on board with them and, and get things going um, you, make sure that you don't hand over every single freaking cent to them find out you know hey um, can I just do one or two hours with you at first to really see if we're sympathetical um, make sure that you um, do the, the preview or, or whatever little going um, rate package they have for new clients a lot of a lot of trainers have a new client introductory package I do um, personally when I have a personal training client I've never worked with I need to evaluate them um, I need to lay a foundation of, of their mental health and make sure they're not going to make me crazy because <laughs> I have to reprogram them I mean let's just be honest here that's another video I, I probably should do that tomorrow <laughs> but um, you know I need to make sure that they're not going to to fight with me you know uh, mistrust me I need to make sure that they will trust me <laughs> that um, you know is, is that that we can work together really well so when you're a client um, you need to keep in mind your personal trainer is not a miracle worker if they say they are again that that's another flag cult leader run away run away no one's a miracle worker no one absolutely no one so um, if they say that they're a miracle worker and they're not humble run away <laughs> my goodness run away um, and um, trust the process so uh, so so here you are you know step four um, you've done a couple of sessions with the trainer you you've gone through that that introductory session um, prerequisite timeline that they've set for you and you agree and your trainer agrees um, yeah it would be a good partnership okay at that point you need to really honestly tell yourself this is it this, I, it's like marriage you know you um, you're not going to beat your trainer up okay at that point when you're handing money over to your trainer that doesn't give you the right to be a complete and utter hodona and um, a hodona is a, is a bully a nag um, someone with low self-esteem who, who just is negative all the time um, just because you're paying money to a trainer doesn't mean that the trainer is going to want to deal with someone like that so clients need to completely understand that just because you're in an agreement to achieve specific goals and you like the trainer it doesn't give you the right to go back to bullying yourself to go and, and become a bully to them um, and any trainer that actually is allowing a client to do that 
um, I want to encourage you as a trainer to really kind of um, think about about continuing as a trainer. Um, any trainer with that kind of of ability to to just let someone walk all over them, you're really not a trainer. Um, oh, okay, another thing a client needs to to think about when you you're in it for the long haul. Um, you have for for I don't know how long you know been throwing yourself a pity party. You know you you haven't been doing your fitness. Maybe you haven't been hitting your fitness goals. So you hired a trainer because you want to partner with that person to help you achieve your goals. Things are working out pretty well. And then the self doubt and the self um, the the negativity those those thoughts in your head of of what made you become a couch potato start creeping back in okay and then that's where you really need to dig your heels in and just just fight it you know so so as you're working out you need to chant positivity and and you'll find a lot of trainers will do this as as you're getting ready to to do these reps okay typically this is what's going to happen you're in a session the trainer's going to say okay today we're going to focus on XYZ how are you feeling today? And as you're doing your warm up and you're loosening up <clears throat> your mental preparation, you kind of think to yourself, "Man, I feel like complete crap. Yesterday was so stressful, and oh, you know, I'm just not hitting the the goal, and the you know, I'm not getting the results like I thought I would." And you know, you just start all of a sudden realizing you're just you're not happy. And what you need to do at that point is start chanting to yourself positivity. So, okay, you, it, it, and this is where a really good trainer comes in. A trainer will chant positivity throughout your workout. And um, that could be a really good thing, that could be a really bad thing. But let's, let's first go into the good thing. Okay, the good thing about that is, is they're gonna rewire your thinking in your brain. They're going to say, okay, so you're not quite feeling good today. Let's power through that. And let's see if we can change your mindset and, um, and, and, you know, make you feel better. Because that's really what this is all about. We want to keep it fun. We want to make you enjoy what you're doing and see the positivity in what you're doing. So, little baby steps. For instance, if, you're, if, if it's leg day, you're going to be squatting, okay? You go through your, your progressive um, weight to get to your working weight set. And with each, with each one, you're evaluating yourself physically. You're, you're saying, okay, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. I'm feeling good physically. You know, I hit my 45 pound bar, a couple reps, you know, add weight. A couple more reps, still warming up, add weight. Still warming up, I can do this. this feel, okay, this is starting to get a little bit harder. Adding more weight, still warming up. Oh, whew, yeah. Um, yeah, I, this is just a warm up. Oh my God. Okay, so these <laughs> these really creepy little thoughts are coming in. Like, can I do this? You know, and that's where the trainer comes in and goes, Yes, you can. I'm here to help you. I can help you out. And and so you need to trust the trainer at that point. And that's how a session um, will be. Okay. And with with each session, you know, whether it's just getting through a set of squats. Um, getting through a half hour or an hour of training and, and knowing, hey, you did the best you could do, your trainer applauded you, your trainer didn't freaking coddle you, helped you push through it, didn't beat you up for failing. God, you know, everyone fails at that last rep, at that last set. Um, maybe your goal that day was to, to be able to squat your personal best. The heaviest weight, or maybe um, you know, twice the amount of reps at at 20% of your one repetition max weight, and you did not hit that goal. That's okay, and 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 a good trainer is going to tell you that, but explain to you, we will hit it next time. You will have another chance, and when you get that other chance, you will make it. Um, a good trainer is going to let you walk away feeling defeated and deflated. A good trainer is going to say, we all have those kind of days. No biggie. You're going to move on, you're going to get better, you're going to get stronger. 
And and then you'll with practice and good training, you will get better and you will see results, and that's going to lift your spirits. So don't ever focus on the negative. Um, trust your trainer, and and know that he or she is is trained to chant you into positive thinking. And then you need to practice that positive thinking outside of training, okay? Um, so don't ever under, you know, don't ever just, just walk away from a good personal training session, a good class, and then go back to your old negative thoughts. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll talk about that in another video, okay? But it's really important that in order to achieve your goals, you know, um, again, you partner with a really good support um, group instructor, personal trainer, you know, team of like-minded individuals. Um, you, you all are on agreement how to achieve those goals. You focus on the positive aspects, even when you know <laughs> you're feeling negative. Um, you chant yourself. You talk to yourself. You, you self-motivate yourself with the assistance of the trainer. And last but not least, this is the final frosting of the cake. You're paying for someone to help you through this because, and this is key, you want to be able to do this all by yourself. Right? You're not paying for a friend. <laughs> um, you're not paying for a drill instructor. You're not paying for someone to bully you and, and lower your self-esteem. You're paying for a mentor who's, who's not only going to teach you the safe and the correct way to physically improve your, your physicality, your physique, but is, is going to train you on how you can do this yourself and empower not only yourself and your soul, but to help others. And, um, you know, please, please medit meditate on that. Please understand that. Please understand these, these five extremely important steps on, on what to do once you've found a personal trainer, um, how to maintain a good relationship with your personal trainer, how to maintain a good positive mindset to achieve your goals. And um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to leave them in the comment box here. Also, join me on my Facebook page. I'm also on Twitter, so all that information is going to be here on the description for this YouTube video. And subscribe, because I'm going to go ahead and, and keep doing these little talks, these little chats. And um, be beautiful. Have fun. Go, go exercise today, but in a really nice, healthy, positive thinking way. Bye.